Well, hi everyone and greetings from Northern Michigan. This is Bob the Science Guy. You know, I want to thank you all in advance for staying with me for this series. It's been very enlightening for me and I hope that you've enjoyed it as well. Today we're going to try and put everything together and find out what God's purpose was in creating a flat earth that didn't obey his laws of physics. So let's cue up the music and see what they have to say. Why does the shape of the earth matter? Why does it matter if the earth is flat or a sphere? Why not just leave the whole issue alone? The answer is because many people do not believe in God because of a lie that science has told them. Satan is cunning, and no lie that he devises is without purpose or harm. And the globe is no exception. The last thing Satan wants mankind to think about is God. He wants them to get lost in the chaos and confusion of this life and not give a single thought to their creator. You know, this is the greatest why of all. Why is science and religion incompatible? Can you not have faith yet understand and accept data? Can you not believe in a creator yet understand and accept reality? When you tell me that the earth is flat and I can clearly see curvature, why would God want you to lie to me? Again, remember, it's against one of the commandments to bear false witness. Why would you lie? The idea of an infinite universe fits perfectly with this plan. In the heliocentric model, Earth is nothing. One of many planets in one of a million solar systems, in one of a million galaxies, in an innumerable number of universes. Yet it is our home. That makes it special to us. It doesn't make it special everywhere in the universe, but it's pretty special to us, and I'm fine with that. We're just a dot in an infinite sea of darkness. But in the biblical model, the earth, and more specifically, mankind, is God's greatest work of art, something he took time and pleasure in creating. And he sits immediately above it, looking down on everything that takes place within his creation. Isaiah 45 verse 18 says, For thus saith the Lord that created the heavens, God himself that formed the earth and made it. He hath established it, he created it not in vain, he formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord and there is none else. Satan does not want man to know that his creator is above them. Satan wants us to think that God does not exist. And if Satan can't convince us of that, he wants us to think that God is millions of light years away in a distant universe that we will never reach. You know, for a biblical church, you certainly don't put a lot of respect in faith. Does it matter whether or not God is 100 miles away, 1,000 miles away, or 100,000 light years away? No. Faith will tell you that God exists. Faith will tell you that God is watching you and looking out for you. It doesn't matter where God is. So I don't think a requirement of faith is proximity of God. So therefore, I don't think the devil can use the lack of proximity of God as a means to shake faith. So your entire argument seems to kind of fall apart. And I'm not a particularly religious person, but even I can shoot holes in your argument. And the farther away he is physically, the farther he will become mentally. How many Christians would feel a greater sense of comfort if they knew that their God was right above them? How many atheists would reconsider if they knew that science had told them a lie? How many people would get saved if they realized that hell was waiting right underneath their feet? How many people that call themselves Christians would only live a good life if they felt they were being watched by a vengeful God? How many people with true faith need to be watched by a proximate and attentive God? 
The majority of people, Christians and non-Christians alike, will continue to mock the idea of a flat earth, esteeming it nothing more than a caveman's theory. But the truth is that God created the flat earth and not man. And those that mock the flat earth do not mock man, but their creator. Well, a couple of things that I'd like to add here. First of all, people mock flat earthers not because it's a caveman mentality. It's because these people have access to information that tells them differently, yet still support the flat earth narrative. As I've often said, the flat earth is little more than the pet rock of YouTube. And the people that follow it fall into only two categories, those that sell t-shirts and those that buy t-shirts. The latter group is quite gullible. That's why you are mocked. But those who understand the truth and cherish it will reap the benefits of a deepened relationship with their Savior and Creator. So our message to every Christian who has been disheartened by the shame, laughter, and ridicule associated with the flat earth is this. Do not be discouraged. The earth is undoubtedly flat. Be thankful that God has allowed you to see the truth. And remember that God is sitting above us, and He knows who stands for the truth and who opposes it. Thank you for watching. We pray this documentary has been a blessing to you. If we don't see you on this side of the firmament, we'll see you on the other. God bless. Well, my oh my, that was eye-opening. Now, the reason that I did this series was that I've worked mostly with the Flat Earth for the last year. Flat Earth is little more than warmed over creationism. And one of the reasons that I wanted to go through this entire documentary, episode by episode, was to demonstrate the strong connection between creationism and the Flat Earth. In the United States, back in 1987, creationism was ruled in the United States Supreme Court as being a religious program. It couldn't be taught in schools. So what they did was they just simply changed the name of creationism to intelligent design. And when intelligent design fell out of fashion, they started calling it Flat Earth. The overall goal of both the Flat Earth and creationism is the same. The Earth is flat. It's unique in the universe. It is a special place that was built just for us by a creator. There is no other place like it. It doesn't follow the rules of the rest of the universe because it's special and divine. Because we're special and divine. So, this is Bob the Science Guy signing out from Northern Michigan. I'm kind of debating whether or not I want to continue on in this vein. This same organization just put out a documentary similar to this one on dinosaurs in a 6,000-year-old flat earth covered with a firmament. I'm thinking about going ahead and hitting that again. However, I'd like to give it a couple of weeks just to kind of take a little breather from this. If you guys would like to see that, go ahead and put some comments in. And I, I watch them, and I try and pay attention to what my fans ask me to do. And I've done a number of videos that have been very successful because I was asked to do them by the viewers of this channel. So thank you very much for your support and your input, and I'll see you again soon.